welcome back to your friends so today this is going to be the third video on the topic of beam column or uh, eccentrically loaded column eccentrically loaded column actually some people might get uh, confused with the name beam column the eccentrically loaded column is also known as beam column so the in the first video we have seen the steps to design a beam column in the second video we saw that uh, we saw a problem where we actually designed a beam column and this is going to be the third video where we are going to see an analysis problem so let us see what's the question so the question will be like check the adequacy of ishb 450 to carry a factored compressive load of 750 kilonewton so they have given you the pu so i will write here the given data that is pu is given in kilonewton and a factored bending moment of 200 kilonewton meter about major axis so m e u and z z is your measured axis that means this is your i section and this will be your z z this will be your y y so two axis so this is your major axis so yeah and the effective length of column is three meter so kl is given as three meter consider only section strength okay so let us uh, the first step is right you should start writing the given data so we started writing the given data that is ishb 450 and now what we will do is we will go into the steel table and you can write out all the properties from steel table those are like your bf is 250 mm your d uh, if i draw the section here it will be better to no yes so this is your bf that is 250 this is your d that is 450 then there the ag is your gross section area and tf is the thickness of flange this is your tf this is your tw this is your h1 okay so this is h1 and tw and the kl is given as the kl will be the perpendicular thing the length of the i section or the beam column whatever it is okay so this will be your length so yes let me raise it yes and then what else we need is r minimum ze and zp all these values uh, are taken from steel table and the value of zp is taken from the annexure 8 annex 8 annex h sorry not at from is 800 2007 okay now what is the step two classify the section so the step two is classify the section here you just classify the section according to table two this is a i section so you go and find b upon tf that is bf upon two upon tf that comes out to be 9.124 which is less than 9.4 epsilon therefore flange is plastic so your flange is plastic let us check for the web so d upon tw so here the this d actually means h1 upon tw okay so h1 upon tw is 380 oh so i'm sorry 386.2 upon 11.3 that is 34 which is less than 84 so, so the web is also plastic therefore both the web and flange are plastic therefore your complete section is also plastic now the step three or the same step we can say we have to find the buckling class from the section the video will be soon out 
uh, how to find a buckling class i will get the link in the description box but till then so you just go into the table 10 and find the h upon b of and that is 1.8 and the tf should be less than 40 so the buckling class about major axis is a there is a table in uh, table 10 in is 800 uh, there you can find this thing okay and then so yes we you can also find the value of alpha for buckling class a which is 0.21 is written in the table number seven now step three is strengthen axial compression or axial tension that is you know nd is equal to ag f upon gamma m0 this was written in clause 9.3 okay and if you put all the values ag from the is code and these two values you know you can get the value of nd that is 2679 kilonewton so now okay so nd this is the design force so design force and then it is actually greater than the given n so n is your pu which is given here so it's n or equal to pu this is greater than your applied load this is your demand or the this is the demand and this is the design for this is the capacity so the capacity is greater than demand therefore okay and now okay and now if you see the strength in bending let us see the strength in bending so md is equal to beta b z p f y upon gamma m0 as per the clause 8.2.1.2 beta b beta b is one because the section is plastic as we saw in step two therefore md this value comes out to be 461.5858 kilonewton meter which is actually greater than the given moment bending moment demand so demand and this is the capacity of the section so capacity is greater than demand therefore okay okay and the final check for strength is n upon nd plus m upon md is less should be less than one now let us check this comes out to be 0 0.28 plus 0 0.433 which is 0 0.713 less than one therefore okay and safe that's all about the problem so what you did is the same thing you just uh, in the design problem the first step is to find a trial section so you find out the area and based on the uh, axial load and then what you do is then you continue with this step you once you get the trial section you write its properties everything then you classify the section then you go for the strength in axial uh, uh, buckling class then strength in axial compression strength in bending and final check for strength that's all so here you are already given a section in the analysis problem you will be given the section so you don't need to take any trial section and you just start from the step two so that's it that's it about the beam column or the eccentrically loaded column Thank you for watching, hope you understand the concept.